Hello students. Today I am with a case report and myself Dr. Taruna. This patient present to the outpatient clinic with swelling of left lower limb for the past 10 years. This is the swelling of left lower limb. So, PBF examination for microfilaria was sent to the microbiology department and the blood was collected in between 10 to 12 in the night. Alternatively, DEC provocation test can be done if we want to collect the blood in daytime. So, after GEMSA staining, the picture was like this. This is microfilaria parasite and these are RBC. This is picture of PBF. Transmission of the causative agent. Numerous mosquito vector transmit the disease filariasis. These are Culex, Anopheles, Aedes, Mansonia. So basically this is a mosquito borne illness. Human beings are definitive host because adult worm lies in the human beings. The nematode round worm, Ucheria bongrupti, Bruzia malai, and Bruzia timori, inhabiting the lymphatics and subcutaneous tissue, are causative agent of lymphatic filariasis. So, the disease is lymphatic filariasis. Treatment The mainstay of treatment is diethylcarbamazine plus doxycycline. Diethylcarbamazine has a potent microfilaricidal and macrophilaricidal activity. It kills adult as well as larval form of the parasite both and it kills approximately 50% of adult form. So, it decreases the burden of microfilaria in the blood. Whereas doxycycline targets Wolbachia which is an intracellular bacterial symbiont of filaria parasite and it has microfilaricidal activity also and it reduces the pathology in mild to moderate lymphedema. A single dose of diethylcarbamazine 6 mg per kg along with doxycycline 200 mg per day for 6 weeks is a standard care of treatment for lymphatic filariasis. In case of tropical pulmonary eosinophilia, DEC 6 mg per kg body weight per day is administered for 21 days. Thank you very much. If you like my channel, then please share and subscribe and I am waiting for your feedback. Thank you.